I'm going to take you through some prenatal and also postnatal core. So starting off, let's, um, let's come to all fours. So wrists stacking under shoulders, knees under hips. I'm just going to move through some cat cow here. So inhale to lengthen your spine. We're actually not going to arch too much. So we don't want to extend too much through the front body. Exhale, I want you to think about engaging pelvic floor and feel like you're zipping up here, which starts to tuck your tailbone under. Keep it coming all the way up, keep drawing that belly button in and up. So keep zipping up as you exhale. <coughs> Inhale to lengthen. Completely release pelvic floor and core here. And then exhale. So really slow and control. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, pelvic floor leads. Like zipping up. Keep drawing belly button in and up. So imagine you're zipping from pubic bone all the way up to sit bone. Inhale. So we're just going to build on that. So two options here. Either just single arm. Single leg. Really slow and controlled. You want no weight to feel like it's shifting. And then single leg, so inhale, and exhale, engage pelvic floor and core, and then sliding that leg back. If that feels okay, you can lift it up. Only lifting to hip height. If that all feels okay, opposite arm leg. Postnatal mummin, you can bring that into touch. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Repeat on both sides. Okay, the next one we're going to come into is to work our obliques, so our side body. So we're going to come into supported modified side plank. So hand down if that hurts, if you're pregnant, you can use your knuckle. So nice straight line from hips up, really strong. You can come down onto your elbow as well. So lots of different options here. Now feel this connection through pelvic floor and core. So feel like you're zipping in and lifting up. Lifting up strong through your shoulder, rib cage wrapping. It's a real feeling, really nice wrapping underneath. And we're just going to hold it here and then just tiny lower, tiny lift, tiny lower, lift. Two, one, good. Okay, so coming on to our back if you're pregnant. You only come onto your back if it feels okay. If you feel faint, dizzy, lightheaded, any tingling, then don't come onto your back. Um, to come down onto our back, postnatal mothers, let's come down onto our side or prenatal and roll. Okay. So, first of all, we're just going to come into some hip pelvic tilt. So, inhale, exhale, zipping up through pelvic floor and core, and feel like your pelvic floor is drawing up, up, up until you start to tilt your tailbone. Inhale to release. Exhale, zipping up. Up, 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 all the way. So closing this gap, this stomach separation, if we have this. Inhale to release. Exhale, zipping up. So it's this light connection. You can feel like you're gripping or holding your breath. And then we're just going to turn into hip raises. So inhale, and exhale, till imprint your spine, press through your heels, start to squeeze your glutes to lift your hips. Keep your rib cage in a nice straight line with pelvis. You might need to lower your ribs slightly. Holding here, try and lift your hips up a tiny bit higher. 
extend long through your knees and exhale inhale lower exhale squeeze your glutes lift pelvic floor and then you can hold it up here tiny little pulses with one heel leg Keep engaging through core, other side. So rolling down one vertebrae at a time. Final one I want to show you, just bent knee fall out. So finding neutral spine, hips and pelvis um, flat, drop your rib cage down, inhale, exhale, engage pelvic floor. This time as we inhale, we're going to drop this right leg out to the side. Exhale, use this right side of pelvic floor and core to draw that leg back in. Inhale, left leg. Exhale. Really tiny movements here. Just trying to isolate the different sides of our pelvic floor and core. Okay, so that's a really good warm up before a workout or just a great little early morning check in to warm up your pelvic floor and core before you go about your day. I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you soon. Bye.